Rick was someone everyone knew about. He was very self-absorbed, narcissistic, and loved nothing more than getting fame online. He ran a TikTok account with pranks on it, scaring people at night in his clown outfit. He had a cameraman that he underpaid and didn't even care to learn his name. His friends had all left him claiming he was crazy for doing it, and one day he would be shot or beaten. He laughed them all off, saying they were just jealous of all his fame. His first scare this week was amazing, and he was still grinning about it. He could still recall the fear on the old woman's face. The darkness fell, and Rick was getting ready to scare some people. He had some scary props for tonight that included hammers and fake knives. He was ready with his badly done clown makeup and an old jacket. He headed out and hid behind some dumpsters in an alley waiting for his first victim. Sure enough, someone came down the street and he jumped out with one of his plastic knives and tried to scare the lady. She screamed and ran down the street. Rick began to laugh manically. He couldn't stop. This was the best gig ever. Getting paid to scare unsuspecting people. He hit again and waited for another victim. An older man came walking down the street and he had jumped out in front of him. The old man was startled but then said to him, Be careful around here, there are real monsters around. Rick, disgusted by the lack of a reaction, swore at the old man. The old man didn't care and walked on into the darkness, shaking his head. Suddenly he heard a weird noise like a horrible groaning laugh of someone truly deranged. Was it the old man just trying to ruin his videos and scare him a little? No matter, he thought to himself, I would be the one doing the scaring tonight, not some old man. He spotted a younger woman walking his way and quickly hid. He loved scaring younger people as they were generally more scared of the dark. He was already chuckling from the, from the excitement of scaring someone. Be quiet, he told himself. One, two, three. He jumped out in the alley in front of the lady. He began laughing and dancing. She was paralyzed with fear and had fallen back onto the sidewalk. She was so terrified she could not even scream. She pointed and gasped. Rick was so excited at the horror on her face. Is she pointing at me, he thought? No, she wasn't. She was pointing to someone else behind him in the alley. Then the most stomach-curdling laugh erupted from the alley, echoing into the darkness. Was this another creator trying to get in on his niche, stealing his viewers and likes? Rick questioned himself. As he stared at the figure standing there, he couldn't help thinking that the guy was a little large. His clothes and mask were badly made. But looking closer, Rick saw that the clown's face was contorted to the right side in a grotesque smile. Rick felt a chill run down his spine. Something felt very wrong. The figure was approaching him very quickly now in a hurried, lumbering walk. It gave out another laugh. Rick was now scared, his stomach dropped, and he felt instantly sick with fear. The figure's walk turned into a run, and Rick tried to turn, but he was stuck petrified with fear. He heard the lady behind him scurrying away as fast as she could, but he was so terrified he couldn't run. The horrific clown smashed into him with such force he felt his teeth clap together. He was lying on the ground, dizzy from the force of the impact. The clown got very close to him, looked him in the eyes, began to laugh, the laugh slowly turning into a screaming roar. Rick crawled forward. He had to get up and run. The clown grabbed his leg and he felt a snapping sensation with a sharp shooting pain. Was it broken from the grip alone? He wasn't going to escape this. The clown was laughing again and started using him like a club, hitting walls and dumpsters. He felt bones cracking from the hits. The clown was so strong and fast he didn't know if he was hitting the ground or the walls. He was then thrown down like a discarded rag and he hit the ground hard. He saw his cameraman drop the camera and run away frantically. The clown walked over and grabbed the camera, sticking it into Rick's face and laughing again, the same blood-curdling laugh as before but with more joy. Rick felt the clown grab his leg and he could only watch the light fade away slowly as he was dragged off into the darkness. We hope that scared you a little. Remember to like, subscribe, and check out Creepy Midnight Stories for more.